Hey you guys, it's Jasper Newell. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I have another pee review for you, which is why we're in the echoey bathroom. I promise I'm going to try to get an actual studio set up, but for the time being, um, yeah, here's where we are. So, I did sit on this for about a month after I bought it because, you know, like I've said on my channel before, if you've been here before, we moved, we've had so much craziness going on. So, I finally carved out some time and I said, let me go ahead and do this before there's another scandal. So, we are going to be reviewing another Jeffree Star Cosmetics product. Now, this is a very controversial uh, beauty influencer and cosmetics maker, whatever you call it. So, let's just try to keep the tea out of it. Let's try to keep all that recent trauma out of it and focus on product only and keep this a channel of positivity. Let's try. Not saying that some tea might spill and some shade might slip out, but okay. So, I got my package as you saw. It is here. It did come with a promo for the Magic Star Concealer. Uh, which I would like to try, but you know what's so funny is about when you have such a giant shade range like this, it's really hard to know exactly what your color is going to be. So I'm thinking a trip to Sephora to kind of look at just things that they have to try to comparison shop might be in order before I get any of the Magic Star concealers uh, or anything like that. But I like that they put that little promo in there. So here it is. Yes, I got the Alien palette. That's what we're going to be reviewing. So, I already have my face ready, uh, except for my primer. I have to put on my primer, but we have on foundation, setting powder, blush, and little quick review of this Alamar Cosmetics blush palette that I got in my boxy charm this month. Uh, it's a colorant blush trio. We have three pans here, Castaway, Parasito, and Scorcher, which I actually use a combination of Castaway and Paris... Per I can't read that, but <laughs> like my brain's just not, because I'm kind of bothered by the colors. Like this one's a little too orangey for me. This one's just kind of meh. Like I have blushes like that. So don't really know how I feel about them. Don't even know if they're gonna match the look that we're gonna go with today. But that is there. So that's a little teaser for the actual review that I'll do in my Boxytron box uh, that I should do sometime soon. And Dimitri, here we go. He has to make an appearance every video. Yes. Would you like some beauty? Here is a clean brush because we don't test on our kitties. Would you like some blush? Yes. And you can be pretty. You can be pretty. Oh, you don't want to be pretty? You don't want to be pretty? Do you want the, the brush? No? You just want to say hi? Okay. Can I get kisses? No? Yeah, you're mad we got a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, let's go in now that my cat has done his makeup. I promise that's clean, that's not used. And now I can't put it back on my face so I clean it because cat hair. Let's go into the actual review. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime the eyes real quick. And I'm using my new go-to primer, or it's not new anymore, I've been using it for a while, which is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Sin. And we're going to pop on a little bit right there and blend that in. So, backstory on the Alien palette, it was released um, a while back. So, in true mommy fashion, mommy didn't get around to getting it until she kind of made herself buy something for herself. So, I did buy it last month, but I sat on it for a little bit because I just didn't have time to do a video. Um, but, you know, we moved, I carved out some time, and then all that drama hit last couple weeks. And I was like, you know what, I need to go ahead and do this before there's another scandal. So, let's go ahead and get on to the actual review. Now, I did open this, full this thing, I opened it to make sure that nothing was broken before I sat down to do a video because then that would be just embarrassing. But here it is, full packaging, the Alien palette. I like the packaging, that's like raised. Very nice, very pretty. So, reading off the back here, this is an eyeshadow pressed pigment palette. It is of course vegan and cruelty free as all Jeffree Star cosmetic products are. So you don't have to worry about any cruelty to animals. Um, because this is a pressed pigment palette, it does say on the box that some of these are not intended for immediate eye area use. 
such as Area 51. They have to say that because it's a pressed pigment palette and those are dyes. Um, however, they are actually pretty safe to use around the eyes. You may experience staining just like with any pressed pigment palette. So, let's uh, get it out. Let's get it out. I don't want to ruin the box. I kind of like to keep my packaging. Here we are. This is very nice. It's like a, is this vinyl? What is this? Like vegan leather or something here? Let me see. It says on the box. Okay, I'm not reading all that. But it is really nice. It feels really nice. These eyes are raised. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can show that. They are kind of raised up a little bit. Here, here we go. Yeah. So I like that. It's really cute. Now I did see this in his video, so I'm gonna try it here. Where you it's it's kind of yeah, it's kind of magnet, magnetic, so you can just lift it up or you can swivel this back and forth to kind of get, you know, if that's just easier for you. So then it opens up. Woo! And we have a nice mirror. I like this mirror. Now, I did notice some of my viewers, you guys have commented that maybe you have arthritis and you don't like the larger palettes because it's harder for you to hold. This is not that heavy. It's not nearly as heavy as some of my other palettes. Um... And it is kind of comfortable to hold, but when it comes to these large palettes, it is a good idea to just lay it down flat on the table so that you don't accidentally drop it. If you do have problems with holding and gripping things um, for a long amount of time due to arthritis. But I do want to say that I love the mirror, big on the mirror, probably going to end up using it, but I do have my little mirror here. And we have... So we have 18 pans total. We're gonna to do some swatches. We're gonna play with some of the colors. We're gonna see what kind of look we can come up with today. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Um, I am really gravitating towards Area 51, which of course is the one that's not intended for immediate use around the eye area or the immediate eye area, uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm really gravitating towards Flying Saucer as well. Phone Home here is like a kind of a mauve-y, taupey, that looks really cute. That could be for everyday use. We have some metallics, we have some glitters, um, a lot of mattes, so a little bit of like, it looks like shimmers. So let's just get started. Let's see what we have here. And Space Cowboy, I'm kind of, hmm, I'm kind of gravitating towards that too. So, but the biggest one that I was really surprised to see in this palette is Alien, this little green one right here. So we're gonna take a swatch. Ooh, it feels creamy. It's kind of... Ooh, ooh, she's pigmented. Nice. Let's do a little hand swatch there. Bam! Bam! Okay. Let's see if I can get that to show up here on camera. Not very well with these lights, but it is very bright and green and pretty and shiny. So, okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and start playing with some colors here. So I'm going to flip this. We'll see. I'll flip it up. Probably going to ruin the mirror. And there's no plastic on the mirror. Eh, that's, a, that's a no. I don't like that. That's a point taken. So I'm going to take... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's take this Luxie... What is this? Mini Tapered 121 brush. Boop. And let's... Try. What am I feeling today in this? What do I really want to try? I definitely want to put this flying saucer, which is this um, a kind of a dark teal, under the eye. I want to try to kind of line under the eye right here on this lower lash line a little bit. So let's find a color that might go with that. You know, I really want to dip into Area 51. Let's try Space Cowboy. I do want to try that, so maybe we'll do that on the lid. We'll start off, let's go ahead and try to pop something on this highlight up here. So I'm going to go into Pluto, which, let's do a clean finger, is kind of a shimmery, off-white, eggshell kind of color. Ooh, it is very pigmented. We're going to pop that right there. Damn. Okay. She ain't here to play around. So let's go into Pluto and not a whole lot of fallout there. Let's, okay, a little bit, a little bit. 
but uh, I mean, some fallouts to be expected. So not a not a dream killer. And we're gonna use our little mirror here and zoom in. I'm gonna go right up here and pop a highlight right on top just to see. Ooh, it's pretty and shimmery. It kind of matches the basic shade of the primer sin that I'm using. So, okay. Let's see how well that builds up. Because you know I have to go pick up my son from school. At the end of this, given all the hype, I better be blinding everybody and I pick a blind. I'm just saying. I'll be that mom, but I'd rather be that mom blinding everybody if I'm going to be. We're going to go right up here. I like it. It seems to be going on nice. It's pigmented. And uh, this is looking really pretty so far. So, okay. Pluto looks to be a keeper. I know, Kiki. You cannot have any, though, because we don't put makeup on our animals. Okay, so, I like that. That is, ooh, you can even see that on camera with these horrible lights. That is bright. So, now, let's try. I want to be, like, too bleeding. We need a mat in there, like, just on the crease, I think. So, let's go with, I just don't know what I want to do. Hmm. Let's try X Files right here, which is kind of a dark khaki. And we're gonna, it has a cute little alien head, which I really like. Let's see if we can get that on there. Yeah, very cute. And it's like, it's like butter. It's so soft. Ooh. Let's see how that looks right here. Okay. It's a. It's not playing around either, so let's take a dark, like a, or a small brush, because this is so dark. So I'm gonna use this ELF eye crease brush, just a little cheapy little, ELF has the best brushes in my opinion, I love them. Ooh, I just ruined that fan, I feel like. Okay, no, she's good. So, I got it here, it's packed on. Let's just kind of lightly go over the crease and see how it wants to play out. Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far. I don't want to go too dark because, again, I do have to go get my son from school. I'm already going to be that mom, but at least I want to look, you know, halfway normal when I go over there. Because he just started. I don't know any other moms or anything, so we want to kind of play it safe. I'm not like a big beauty YouTuber or anything, so I can't be like, oh, check out my channel. You can see what I did. No, like, they won't care. They'll just be like, you're that weird mom. With the weird, overly done makeup. So, alright. I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. Even on my, like, pale white skin, this isn't, I don't think, too dark or anything. It looks like it's going on really nice. It looks pigmented. Okay. Let's do the other eye. And I do have a lot of stuff going on this week. Hopefully, I'll be able to film a little bit more. I'm planning on it. Um, got some new beauty stuff coming up. We're going to do some clean with me's, which I started watching recently, and they really do help motivate me to clean, like to watch somebody. I know it seems like counterproductive to watch somebody else clean and then you feel like clean your house. Like, why not just clean your house? But it actually does help. It kind of gets me in a mood. And then sometimes you're able to learn little life hacks and stuff. So I do, I have a clean with me video that is up. If you're into that kind of thing, you want to go check it out. Um, and I did get some requests for different videos, so hopefully I'll get around to do that this week. And I actually feel like setting up the camera and doing it instead of just cleaning the house. Like, kind of make a project out of it. We'll see. I know, Kitty. Okay. Hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Alright. Let's get this over here a little bit more on this eye. I did not, that was my fault. I didn't totally blend that out very well where it kind of matches. Okay, so now let's go into what do we want to do. We need something to kind of bring this together. Let's add a little bit of color. I am thinking, why not just go for it? Let's go for the Skase Cowboy, which is a very dark, it kind of looks, I'm not sure if it's like shimmery or metallic-y brown. Um, no, big 
Monty. You had makeup on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try Space Cowboy because I'm super curious as to how that's going to play out. Let's do a swatch real quick. Um, this thumb's clean. Ooh, white butter again. Super, super soft. Right there. Looks kind of, it's, it's more of a metallic kind of shade. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, wow. Damn, it is right there. It is, whoo. All right. Okay, girl. So let's try, hmm, I'm going to use, I think, this up. Oh. Alamore Cosmetics brush. I had not tried their um, their actual products before. I did have some of their blushes. So let's try this giant fluffy thing and go into Space Cowboy and hopefully I don't screw this up with this color and this brush. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be picking it up. Is this brush just not going to work? What is going on here? Let's try it. Let's just try it. I don't think this brush is picking it up. So let's go right here. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm putting it right on the lid going up to that um, crease where we first put X-Files. This is, again, a Space Cowboy. Ooh, okay. I'm liking how this is kind of blending in there. It goes with X-Files really well. Um, it's like a really good blend, a really good transition. And then that blue just kind of, it, it's like a perfect little, little blend there. Okay. Maybe we won't put the green on the bottom, we'll see. Damn, I'm liking that. Uh, a little dark, a little darker than I said, you know, I really wanted to do today, but, um, well, we could add some color and just kind of, just take it there. Let's just do it. We're only going to you know, the pickup line at school with all the basic moms. Let's just do it. Why not? So, okay, I was worried about this brush, but it, it, it's actually picking up the color really well. So let's pop over here. Ooh, I am liking this. So this palette, I believe, retails, I want to say between $45 and $55. Most of the Jeffree Star Cosmetic palettes do. I just don't quite remember the exact price at this time. Um, your average, like, just basic makeup wear that doesn't experiment with color and only has a few things. You may want to get it if you want to experiment with color. Um, otherwise, I would say it's probably a little too expensive to invest in. Although, for 18 pans, it's a pretty good deal. It's pretty, you know, it's a decent price. But if you're not going to, like, fully use this palette, then I would not recommend it to you. Um, but if you want to take that dive, get out of your comfort zone, and start using color, then at this point, I want to say, oh, yeah. Because this is, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Damn. Okay. So, a little darker than what we wanted to do, but we're going to work with it. So, I do want to add some more color to this. Because um, it is just looking very dark, which is totally fine. But let's try to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take this little flat thingy here and I want to try I don't know if I want to go with purple or green let's do both let's just let's just screw it so let's do area 51 and let's grab a clean thing Ooh, I actually got all the colors everywhere but we'll take this pinky right here Ooh, so she's there she's pigmented let's see damn okay I didn't get the best swatch on my finger but I mean it's it's there so, oh, hopefully that doesn't just stay. Let's see if I can line my lower lash line with this. I'm going to pick that up. This brush is picking it up pretty well. And let's just see how it's going to look. So go under here. Just kind of, ooh, okay. So you could, I think, yeah. If you wanted to, you could probably use this like as a liner. Mm. Let's see. I just want to add some color there. Kind of get something a little different going. All right. Hmm. 
I mean, it's it's there. It's not. I don't think it's gonna show the camera too well. Um, like I don't know. Maybe it's the brush that I'm using, and the fact that it's just the lower lash line that's not quite as pigmented as I wanted. But purples are really hard to make, so I would like to retry a look just using purple on the lid now. Very fifty one purple. But okay, it's there. Hmm. Let's just do the other eye. We'll save the green. We'll do a swatch of the green. Okay. So let's just add some color to it. Totally look like I'm not going to school to pick up a child. I look like I'm going to an alien party. Little dark, little goth. Why is it I my makeup always turns out like way goth when I'm gonna try colors? I don't know. I think it's the stuff I'm just kind of more gravitating to. Trying to get out of that neutral nude thing, you know? Let's go on. Okay. So, I like it. Um, I just added a little bit of purple to it. Added some color to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my liner and mascara. Pop on a lip color and we're going to come back with final thoughts. Oh, no, y'all. I'm kind of liking it. Kinda liking it. So what's the final verdict on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette? I'm going to say uh, I like it. I have to say that I like it. Um, from the colors that I tried, didn't really have too much of an issue with any of them. Um, the purple and the lower lash line, I think it's kind of just the brush. And the fact I put it on the lower lash line. I just can't really quite get it to like build up any more than it is, but I also don't want it to be too over dramatic. Um, but I like it. I really like what I used, which of course, again, we have Pluto on the highlight area. I have X-Files in the crease, Space Cowboy on the lid, and then Area 51, that pressed pigment on the lower lash line. But it, with these lights, you can really see that's purple. But I really like it. Now for my lips, of course, I used another Jeffree Star uh, product because why not? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, this is Jeffree Who, the Velour Liquid Lip. Blech, liquid lip <laughs> and I just grabbed a um, you know a short little need to use it up Sephora uh, waterproof eyeliner and my favorite mascara or one of my favorites the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex so I am really liking this look uh, a little much for going to school to pick up a kid today but uh, it is what it is so final verdict though I am going to give this all five stars I like it. I really like it. Um, I can't wait to play with some of the other colors, see what other looks I can come up with. Is it a very versatile palette? I would say it is, but unlike uh, Blood Sugar, which was the last Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette that I reviewed, there's not a lot of room if you're afraid of color. Uh, there's stuff you can use. There's some neutrals in here and just some kind of rosy and tan and brown tints, but that being said, I think you get more versatility if you are afraid of color by getting blood sugar if you were going to go with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics product rather than this because there's a lot of kooky colors in here. You can create a ton of different looks with this, I think, but if you're afraid of color, you're not going to get as much out of this. That being said, I still think it's an awesome palette and if you want to experiment with any of these, I'm liking the gold. Um, I'd like to play with those. I would love to play, do something with these here. Maybe come some kind of smoky eye look with a black hole, which is black, obviously. Probe, which is a more dark gray shimmer. And then Ghost OG. I actually know what that is. That's a different story time, but I know what that is. Um, and which is more of like a khaki, like a khaki gray. Um, Abduction is a cool shade. It reminds me of like... Honestly, like not in the midst of bad blood or spilled tea. It reminds me of what Laura Lee's Party Animal Palette tried to do with that pissy asparagus yellow that did not look good. This actually looks good. Like you could use abduction in a couple different looks and it look like it's supposed to. So I'd like to play with that. I definitely want to play with Alien when I go for like a green look because it's very green. Um, and grab a tea right here for my neutral lovers really looks like it would be good if you don't want to experiment with color too much, but you still want to use this palette, which is kind of a peachy, more of a peachy color. Uh, wait, there we go. Um, 
Yeah, a little, little orangey, but definitely a little bit more peachy. So, I don't have to use that, too. Um, but so far, I'm impressed. I like the packaging. I like the formulas. I like this bomb mirror, even though I didn't really use it uh, all that much. Uh, I just like that it's there. And, yeah, I'm going to say this is an A+++. plus plus plus. Very glad that I have it. So, that is the tea on that. All five stars. So, I will have links where you can go purchase that down there if you want to get it. Not an affiliate. Um, just putting it out there in case you guys want it. But I will have links to everything that I used here on my face if you want to go check those out. I'm happy with it. I like it. And I can't wait to start playing with it more. That being said, I don't know before you even ask when I'm going to get the blue blood palette. It's on my list. I tend to wait for things to come out so everybody else can like snatch and grab and have to wait online and do all that stuff before I try to get it because then I don't have to worry about, ooh, am I going to get in time and all this stuff. I like to let the mob go first. And then if stuff happens where people don't like formulas, they have chances to work on it and stuff like that. Um, that being said, I do hope to get Blue Blood soon. If you want to see other reviews that I've done on Jeffree Star Cosmetics products, I will have links in the description as well. You can check out the Blood Sugar Palette review. And, oh, we did not highlight. That was the one thing that I forgot to do. And so I'm going to grab, I knew I had it sitting here for a reason. I'm going to grab my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Eye Skin Frost Pro Palette. Bam. And let's see. For this look, because we're already so dark, we really do need to brighten it up a bit. So why not use Alien Ice, which is, here we go. Ah. This um, green, I've used it before. Ooh, this is so dirty. I've been using the hell out of this palette. Which is a very um, bright, it's not It's not really too green when it's on the face, but it's green in the pan. It's definitely a lot of gold in here. It was really cute. So I'm just going to go over the nose a little bit here. There we go. A little bit on the cupid's bow. Kind of bring all that out. Come up here. Yes. I do love this palette. It just works. I haven't noticed a color in here that didn't really work for me yet. There we go. Of course, I'm wearing black, so the highlighter is getting all over my black clothes, but that's okay. I'll just glow. Uh, and I can see the glow from Pluto up here. Like It's brighter than this highlighter. Hello. It is I really like that. The blush, I don't know, Alamar Cosmetics. I'm just kind of, hmm, I'll save that for when I actually do a dedicated review for that. Um, just not really, I don't know, maybe too too orangey for me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so we're done. So here's the final look, and I'm really happy with it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you have the Alien palette? Do you want it? Do you have questions for me? Um, what else are you excited to get in your own beauty collection? I want to hear about it. I always read every single comment, so I want to share and find out what you have going on in your beauty collection. And let me know your thoughts on Alien from Jeff Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we have a new video. And I will get back to you very soon with some more beauty reviews. Bye, guys!